And the communication you just made to him was a little bit confusing. You said you'd like to practice a couple practice approaches, right? Okay. It is cloudy there today, so we Morning. need an actual Morning. IFR clearance. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. So here in California, I think we have some of the best instrument training in the world. In the summertime near the coast, we get a layer of advection fog we call the marine layer, which has consistent and flyable IMC conditions. And in the winter time, we get something called Thule fog, which is a form of radiation fog out in the Central Valley when you have cool surface temperatures, high moisture content, and high pressure aloft. Um, and that fog can get very, very thick. So this is important for this video because where I fly in California, it's very easy to depart in beautiful VFR conditions, go 10 miles down the road and have low IFR. The point of this video is I wanna make it clear to people that I see confusion all the time between flying practice approaches and VFR conditions and flying practice approaches when it's actually IMC. And these are two really different things. Um, and I've seen people fly through the clouds without a clearance under the impression that they have the, the clearance to do so. To clarify, if you take off on a beautiful day, it's VFR conditions, and you wanna go fly practice approaches at some other VFR airport, you can simply request practice approaches. You'll get some form of flight following. They'll give you a transponder code, and they will clear you for practice approaches. They are supposed to say the word practice in all of that, but sometimes they just say you're cleared for the RNAV runway 30 approach uh, into Byron or whatever. When instrument conditions exist, you have to get a clearance to the airport. You have to hear you are cleared to the Byron airport via the runway 30 approach, maintain some altitude, you know, the craft, the, clear, the clearance limit, um, the, the route, the altitude, the transponder, and the frequency. Then after that, you will hear some approach clearance, which is different than your instrument clearance. Does that make sense? So if it's totally VFR, you can get away with simply getting an approach clearance, but if it's IMC, you have to get cleared to the airport via the approach and then get the approach clearance. Watch this video here and see how in practice, this can be a little bit confusing. Arcal approach, Skylane 1483 Lima at 5000. I'd like to do a, a couple practice approaches into Byron. 1483 Lima, Norcal approach. Falcon Ops, 3012. What's the approach request? Where would you like to start? Go ahead, uh, Okay, so again, that uh, tell him to stand by one. Uh, stand by one for you through the night. But the communication you just made to him was a little bit confusing. You said you'd like to practice a couple practice approaches, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't want to. Number five, Mike Delta. We don't want well, to. Yeah, yeah. Well, we do want practice approaches, but it might have been better to log in and say we're ready to copy our IFR clearance to Byron. Right, we need that IFR clearance. Got it. Um, so you can let him know that um, you want to practice the RNAV runway 30 approach. Uh, we're going to need that IFR clearance, and we'd like to do it two times. Approach Skyhawk 1483 Lima has got an IFR clearance into Byron, uh, RNAV 30. Uh, we'd like to do that approach and then uh, do it one more time. 43 Lima, where would you like to start the approach? Uh, moved is fine. Move? Uh, moved for 1483 Lima. 3 Lima, Roger, I'll give you vectors. You can expect to uh, cross on the other side of final and then a turn back towards mode to get you on a lower NDA. For now, fly heading 090 and maintain VFR. So this can also be confusing for controllers who can't see clouds, right? They're in radar rooms, they have to read weather reports. Um, listen here as this controller gives us our clearance. He starts by accidentally issuing an approach clearance, which you can always tell it's an approach clearance because it starts with where you are. You know, you're four miles from some place. Um, but then he stops himself and gives us the proper IFR clearance. And number eight, three Lima, reasonable navigation to uh, move. Reasonable navigation to Lima. Well, uh, just uh, let him know you're going to need the IFR clearance too. So, okay. Ready three Lima, clearance available, advisor, ready to copy. There you go. All right. Ready to copy, AD Lima. Ready three Lima, you are four miles from move, cross moved. Actually, you're clear to the Byron Airport. Did you hear that? He starts with the approach clearance and then corrects himself and issues the proper IFR clearance. You're cleared to the Byron Airport via the whole craft acronym. Let's listen again. 
Three Lima, you are four miles from move, cross moved. Actually, you're clear to the Byron Airport via direct move, cross moved at 3000. You're clear for the RNAV runway 30 approach, Byron Airport. Okay, uh, one, A3 Lima is cleared for the Byron Airport, direct moved at 3000, uh, cleared for the RNAV 30, uh, one way to the all right, and with that clearance, Joe and I are free to go fly uh, as many approaches as they will allow us uh, in beautiful IMC conditions. F60 for 325. F100 for 325. And I have the runway. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna do uh, missed approach, which yep. is at runway 30, missed approach point. Yep, so take it all the way down to the missed approach point. Okay, so 340, oh, 325 minimums. Minimum. Minimum. Perfect. All right, you guys, leave me a comment on some video you'd like to see, if there's a topic you want me to address. A huge thanks to the sponsors for their support of this show. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Also, come visit Patreon. There's monthly Zoom calls with me, ad-free video versions of podcasts, Instagram Lives, just tons and tons of bonus content. And that's a great way to support uh, my effort here to get quality flight training out to the internet regularly. You guys are the best fans on the internet. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share far and wide with your friends, and most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best.